Today, let's take a look at this 2020 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit, courtesy of Yark Automotive Group, showing just over 17,000 miles. Look at this interior. This interior color is known as Sienna Brown with these black tubing accents. This is a beautiful interior. The leather is held up exceptionally well. This is a Summit, so this is fully loaded, which means you get the special interior color with flush wood. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and start out with the outside. This Grand Cherokee is finished in granite crystal metallic clear coat. It is a beautiful silver color, and it complements that sienna brown very well. We have chrome accenting along the doors. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Jeep. Summit badge right there. We are riding on 20 inch polished wheels, along with Pirelli Scorpions measuring 265 by 50 R20 all season tires all around. I never thought I'd see Pirelli's on a Grand Cherokee like this, but this is absolutely beautiful. Not a single ding, not a single scratch, not a single dent. These gorgeous LED lights. LED running, parking, and fog lights. The seven slot grill. Finished in a platinum color. This is fully loaded, so this has every option you could imagine. Under the hood is a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. It's not the Hemi, but the Pentastar V6 still gets the job done. Up front, we have these body colored mirror caps along with mirror lights. No rock chips in the windshield, no scratches on the front, no blemishes. The paint is beautiful. This is an elegant and handsome sport utility. Almost the American Range Rover. Rear lift gate is power operated. We have carpeted Jeep floor mats back here. We also have a privacy protector for your cargo that is absolutely removable. We have an Alpine stereo system along with a 12 volt DC outlet. Underneath here, we have a full size spare tire with a jack and the lug locks. Here's our control for the power hatch. There's power down as well, of course. Let's go check out this opulent interior. Sitting back here, we have plenty of legroom to go around for every passenger. This beautiful sienna color. It's almost a saddle color. It matches this flush wood trim along with this aluminum accenting here on the doors with some kind of interesting carbon fiber looking material there for the outline of the door handle. It's beautiful. It's elegant. This is not your normal Grand Cherokee. We have a panoramic roof up top that is a signature of a lot of higher end Grand Cherokee trim levels. We have these neat storage pockets at the back. These aren't actually torn apart like they usually are. Still tight and wound up well. Do not have rear climate control, but we have rear climate control vents and we have a 110 power outlet down there along with heated seat controls along with two USBs. Plenty of legroom to go around. Comfortable, spacious, and you also have the ability to recline the seat with a leather down here. Beautiful, perfect for a nice trip, perfect for carrying golf clubs, perfect for doing whatever an opulent Jeep owner does on a daily basis. Let's check out the cockpit. Just as luxurious, if not more luxurious, we have soft touch materials, the same materials as found in the back. We've got power locks, windows and mirrors galore. Headlight controls along with our dimming controls for the gauge cluster. Up here we have all of the controls to run the gauge cluster. We can change the speedometer. We also have many different pages of apps we can cycle through. Phone control here, nice Jeep badge in the middle. Leather wrapped wheel with a wood accent on the top. We have adaptive cruise control because this has every possible option imaginable. We have our reset and set controls there. We have paddle shifters that do not extend to the full length of the wheel. But, probably not going to use those much, but they're there if you want to put it in sport mode. Here we have a Uconnect screen running Uconnect 5 system with this beautiful orange that matches the interior color. 
We have different climate control pages. We have media controls for the heated and vented seats along with the heated wheel. We have a backup camera. That's a little bit fuzzy, but it'll get the job done. Black piano plastic out here and it complements this cognac color well. Not very dusty, it doesn't pick up a lot of dust, but if you don't clean the piano black plastic, it definitely can get dirty, it can show a lot of smudges, so there's an issue with that, but you have this entirety sea of orange, so you're not really gonna be paying attention to that that much. Down here we have our volume control with the mute buttons, hazard lights, screen off, the two knobs. We have physical AC and climate controls along with the parking sensors, parking sensors on or off. This will park itself, it's a very neat feature. Lane keep off, auto start stop off, we're gonna learn that off. We also have eco mode, this is a V6, so it's more economical than the 5.7 liter V8. Sport mode and traction control. Down here we kind of have this, this faux carbon fiber material here. Really somewhat deep storage pocket with two USBs, an aux port, and a little 12 volt outlet down there. Fit and finish is rather impressive. This really does kind of feel like the American Range Rover. It just needs that V8 up front. We have our different drive mode controls, sand, snow, auto, mud, and rock. We have our air suspension right there. We have our four wheel drive low system and we also have hill descent control finished in a nice chrome trim piece. This is a very elegant interior. I cannot get over how prestigious this looks. Beautifully appointed. Fit and finish is rather impressive. There are no blemishes on the dash. There's a little bit of cracking right there. Probably from being out in the sun, but a little bit of blemishing right there. But overall, the leather has held up well for the mileage. Luxurious and comfortable place to be. We have sunglass holder up here. We've got dome light control along with the power hatch and the controls for the panoramic roof along with the garage door lifter controls. So, nice kind of soft touch. Almost Alcantara headliner. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and get this Jeep out on the road. Starting off in this more rustic setting where the Summit might find itself more capable. This is an off-road SUV and just because it has a tiny V6 doesn't mean that it's not as off-road capable as its bigger brother. Plenty off-road capable because this is a Jeep. You can go anywhere, you can do anything. My dad had five Grand Cherokees at one point throughout the 1990s. So they were much different than they were now, especially, but this is still the top of the line Jeep model. Beautifully appointed and we'll let this V6 sing. Definitely not slow. It's not like the Hemi, but it sounds healthy. It changes gears swiftly with no issue. And it, it's healthy. It's not slow. Zero to 60 takes around six and a half seconds, which is impressive for 293 horsepower. I know it said it had 297, but unfortunately it has 293, but that's not a problem. But nonetheless, honestly, if you wanted the Summit, you would expect the Summit to have a big V8 but the V6 still gets the job done. It's a proven engine. It's been used widely across Chrysler's platforms in the Jeep Wrangler. It's much better suited for this though. Much better suited for this big SUV than it is over the Wrangler. I will say that much right now. But cruising down the street like this in traffic, I am purely confident with my surroundings because the mirrors are big enough to where I could see what is beside me. It's quiet. The air ride suspension makes for a plush and soft ride. There's no bumpiness. I'm getting good feedback through the wheel. It's elegant and it's soft. It's got every creature comfort you would want it to have and nothing you wouldn't need. It doesn't waste any time with any features that aren't supposed to be there. It's a luxury SUV and luxury holds up to the name. I mean, yes, this is a Jeep, but really you should not be fooled because the Grand Cherokee is a beautiful SUV when it's appointed like this. And this has every option imaginable. Just hear that little V6 whisper. The shifts are seamless at low speed. You can't even really hear it running, but you have that little hum. You know that there's a little peppy V6 under the hood. 
I really can't get over this interior because when you have passengers with you, they're gonna think that, oh, it might be just a Grand Cherokee. Then they step inside of it and the this granite color matches this sienna color beautifully. It's a fantastic combination. It's so elegant. And this is a Jeep again, mind you. It proves that Jeep can compete with the likes of maybe a Range Rover or Cadillac or even some Mercedes-Benz models because the Americans can do it too. And the fit and finish in here really is not bad. I'm driving on the highway, getting on the highway right now. No squeaks, no rattles, no bumps, no loose trim pieces. Everything is held up so well as we gracefully get onto the highway gets up to speed 70 miles an hour easily in the upper right near the middle of the speedometer we have the aero mode this air ride suspension system quadra ride will automatically adapt to the driving situation and it will lower or raise itself depending on whether you're on the highway or not so on the highway it will slip itself down into aero mode the slats in the grill will open up to allow for maximum aerodynamics and maximum efficiency it's a really really smart system so this is a very intelligent vehicle constantly running different sensors and systems to adapt to your driving style getting on the brakes not even really a touch of the brakes and they're plenty touchy and strong and smooth bring this down no problem you have confidence to bring this thing to a stop if there's an emergency or make any evasive maneuvers and it's still whisper quiet I'm very impressed, and I know that you will be too. Putting it through the roundabout to test its cornering ability. Definitely some body roll, but that air ride suspension system is adapting as of right now. There's some body roll, but you're not going to attack the Nuremberg ring in a Grand Cherokee like this one. But it's by wire, so there's no physical connection to the steering column. It makes for a playful and joyous driving experience with light steering feel while still being somewhat heavy because you have that input from the road. That's good. Getting on it. Tall gearing, but quick shifts. Instantaneous, like that. I know it's got a V6, but it's really well adapted to this powertrain. I would totally rock a V6 Grand Cherokee like this one. Very impressive performance for an engine this, of this size. Once again on the road, on the highway, not a ton of wind noise at all. Seriously impressive what Jeep is, has been able to do with this. Seriously impressive. We're averaging about 10.5 miles per gallon because it was just reset. You could probably average about 20 or 21 on the highway. Make no mistake, this is the V6, so it's still a little bit thirsty because you're moving all this weight, but nonetheless, it will save you more money than if you have the Hemi. This Grand Cherokee is a phenomenal bargain priced at a very, very respectable price of $40,000. What you're getting for $40,000, this was most likely a $60,000 Jeep when it came out. You're getting a steal. You're getting every possible option. You're getting this beautiful Sienna interior. You're getting a potent and peppy little V6, which gets the job done well, really. It's not anything to frown upon. This is a seriously impressive SUV. I'm telling you right now, for the price you pay, 40,000, you're getting the American Range Rover. So as always, if you like this vehicle or like this video, be sure to check us out at Yark Automotive Group. That is yarkauto.com, where you can find hundreds of certified pre-owned and new vehicles to purchase. We also benefit the customer by giving them the live market price to be sure that they're getting the fairest price for what they're paying for, along with a full clean Carfax report. This vehicle is it has a clean Carfax, one owner, no accidents or damages reported. This will all be linked in the description below. Remember, at Yark Automotive, we've got just what you're looking for.